before we get started with this video, I now sell merchandise. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt or a mug, I have a link to my store in the description. I really appreciate anybody that purchases any one of my products. How y'all doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shoving Those Hogs back with another video. And today we're going to do an update on a Shatter Hog No Snake produced by Steve St. John from Rotten Apple Exotics. So I'm going to bring y'all over to the computer and we're going to look at some pictures. So um, this is a, a pretty cool snake that was produced last year in 2022. I actually made a video about it. Uh, once I saw the pictures, I reached out to Steve. He allowed me to make this video showcasing his animal. And in my opinion, I thought it was like the coolest hog nose snake that I saw that was produced in 2022. And I want to say it was Trinity from Upper Echelon Exotics who gave me the idea to do an update video on this snake. So shout out to her. So let's get started. And like I said, this is uh, Steve. This is his Instagram page, Rotten Apple Exotics. And I think he actually has some babies available from the, the shatter clutch that was produced this year basically the, the same parents so if you're interested in one of those babies hit him up and let's get into it so this is a picture of it last year right out of the egg as you can see a very interesting looking hog nose snake um, i don't think we know exactly what morphs are gone into you know what I'm saying producing this obviously it's a super arctic um and uh it's crazy that it has this reduced pattern uh here's another picture of it as it aged a little bit as you can see um the solid black eyes which is a characteristic of the super arctic and then just that crazy pattern um like i say the shatter pattern which he that's a, appropriately named um let's go and then, and then this, this is the crazy part these are the parents so um that animal was produced from pairing uh two arctic condas that were 100 percent head albino and uh these are two uh of his siblings from last year that i thought were pretty cool as you can see the noticeable reduced head pattern so that's why i was thinking maybe there's some caramel influence in it also it kind of looks like the skull face morph that uh, has been produced overseas and this is a, a picture another picture after it has shed out um, as you can see just a, a really unique super arctic hog nose um, i really don't think we know exactly what genetically is going on with it and so here's the update of it so this is uh this baby at a year of age as you can see the background is a lot wider um and it's just a really cool looking snake so this is the shatter hog nose that he coined um at a year of age and so fast forwarding fast forwarding to this year he produced another clutch he did the same pairing arctic conda head albino to arctic conda head albino and this is what he came up with this year and, and as you can see in the middle of the screen you see something kind of interesting that kind of reminds you of the shatter uh, that he produced last year and here's a close-up picture of it um, as you can see it's definitely super arctic and um, he said he wasn't a hundred percent sure if it was the shadow the shatter or not it could just be a cool looking super arctic but from looking at this picture it looks like it's probably the same genetics or similar genetics as the one that he hatched last year so what do y'all think of this hog nose snake man i think it's a really cool super arctic one of the coolest super arctics that i've seen uh, let me know let me know down in the comment section what um genetics or genes you think are being um expressed in this snake and i hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all for the next one peace out 